Hello everybody, how are you doing? Um, I'm here on Fit and Ill. So we're going to have a walk around Fit and Ill today. Uh, we're going to have a look at a few bits and pieces. Um, see what's happening nowadays on here, what it's looking like, etc. Anyhow, um, I wanted to start by showing you this church. It's a Catholic church. Um, the name of the church was the Parish Family of Holy Rosary. Diocese of Salford, Holy Rosary, Roman Catholic Church. It used to hold masses at 9.30 a.m. on Sunday, Tuesdays, Thursdays at 9.10 a.m. and Saturday at 12.15. It also says, baptisms at, baptism Saturday, 12.45 by appointment, marriage by appointment, six month notice required, reconciliation Saturday. 11.30 till 12. I don't know what reconciliation is. Is that when you tell the priest about your sins? Uh, I'm not Catholic, so I haven't got a clue. So I'm sure someone will be able to tell me what that means. Anyway, um, a couple of things to note about this church. Inside it, you, obviously you can't get in. They've actually walled it off, Oldham Council, which um, I'm a bit sorry about, because I have been here before and you could get in. Well, I didn't go in, but you, you could get in. They've obviously secured it all. But anyway, a <clears throat> couple of things. I don't know if you can see on that wall there, there's like a plaque, like a key. Uh, underneath that is a, a brass plaque and it was um, given to the church when the Pope visited John Paul II, when he visited Manchester. Um, I think they gave this church this, it commemorates the Pope visit basically. Um, and then do you see this beautiful window here, obviously there's no light from the other side, it's a fairly modern stained glass window obviously, but with inside this church on the altar there is a beautiful, um, uh, like a mosaic of Jesus, um, and at one point one of the vicars or the priests that actually looked after this place or did the services here, he painted over it and then I think someone got it uncovered again, I'm not too sure, uh, the priest in Oldham told me about that, but um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm in car. Hey, let me show you the work that um, my friend Mick did for me at Milner Motor Course. If you need any paintwork, obviously the car's filthy. Um, but if you need any paintwork doing, uh, give him a shout. Tell him Sarah sent you. I'm sure he'll look after you on the price. You get main dealer quality work. He, he actually used to, um, I used to do a lot. He used to do a lot for me when I worked at main dealer in Rochdale. Um, so <coughs> his work's amazing. Um, and what he did is he's fixed a big massive scratch that was here, which was gouged into the door. And um, he fixed this back door for me because I'd battered that. <laughs> and what else? Oh yeah, and then the other day uh, I did the uh, did the wheel arch, but he's done that. So yeah, happy with that. Anyway, uh, let's get on with Fit and Ill. Right, everybody, we're well, now at Fit and Ill shops. So I'll just give you an all-rounder. Um, now, Fit and Ill, the estate, I believe, was filmed, uh, filmed, was originally built, obviously these are a lot more modern, but the older houses, I think they were built around about the 1940s, for 1950s. Um, got a chip here, the Golden Phoenix. And then we've got green chilli takeaway, kebabs, burgers and curries. I've got another one round here, I think. Premier. Wow. <clears throat> it's... Uh, yeah, I won't be going around there because there's children there. I don't film children, do it. But anyway, so uh, Fit and Ill, before there was an estate here, it was mainly farmland. I don't know if you're aware of that. There was a few people that lived on here that had farms. Now, uh, a friend of mine, Sheila, gave me some information on it. I've actually traced the fella. Uh, there was, I think it was about, on this, on this land, I think there was about four individual houses, farms. Um, there was Fit and Hill. 
farm. Um, I think another one was called Oaks Farm. Um, I think there was another one that was named Fir Tree Farm. I think this is where all the street names, you know, sort of originated from on here. From these various, well, not all of them, obviously, but from the various uh, farms that used to be about. Um, and the family in the main farm, Fitton Hill, um, they... Um, if I tell you this story, let me just show you this post box. See, because this throws me a little. Well, it doesn't throw me, actually, because it's about right. So if we're saying that the, um, the estate sprung up originally around about the 1940s, that would tie in nicely with when uh, this king reigned. This was the queen's father, I believe. Um, they haven't changed all of the boxes over, and it did cross my mind. I wonder what they'll do when the queen passes. They'll have all of those boxes to change. Will they change them to Charles? I doubt it. So the original Fit and Hill family, we're just going to take a walk and see what we can see. The original Fit and Hill family, they, Fit and Hill farm family, they had, I don't know, approximately 30 acres of land. I'm pulling a figure out the air there, but it was, wasn't ridiculous and it wasn't a small amount. It was a good amount of land. And then over the years, from the research that I did, I noticed that the, um, the amount of land that they owned in each report was going down. So, I don't know, for whatever reason, they were having to sell off the land to other people. <clears throat> Maybe farming wasn't working out for them, or I don't know. But um, we're gonna take a walk down here. I'm gonna go across the road. And I'm going to go and have a look at that area of land over there. Um, my mum told me last night that there used to be a green which had all shops on it and flats, really nice Art deco type looking flats, but they've been knocked down years ago. And I'm wondering possibly if it was over there. Um, so we'll go and have a look anyway. It's actually um, really quiet on here today. Obviously, you've got the odd car going by, but uh, we're at the. I'm just walking around the uh, roundabout, and we're going to go and have a look over here. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll take you to look. To, we'll have a look at the church in a bit on the other side, uh, if it's still standing. I imagine it probably is. Uh, I've not heard mention of it being knocked down yet, anywhere. And I think, I think that one must have been a Church of England because they wouldn't have had two Catholic churches on Fitton Hill, would they? It wouldn't make sense that. Then I might be wrong. Um, I'm not a complete authority on Fitton Hill. It's a place where I haven't really ever spent much time. I never had any friends that lived on Fitton Hill. Um, you know, I've driven through it a handful of times. I mean, this place here is just desolate. Look at it. Um, uh, I'm wondering if this is where maybe the flats were. Who knows? There's no point going up there, there's nothing to see everybody. So, I think, oh look, Hill Farm. So that would have been uh, one of the farms. But yeah, Hill Farm close, so that must have been up here somewhere. Um, and it surprises me if people know where these names came from. But like I said, there was only about five or six farms that sort of took, took the site. Um, so, I see how quiet it is, everyone. It's really quiet. And this is Saturday afternoon. Um, so, um, I think some of these houses are still council, but then the others, there's other ones what people have bought. Um, many years ago, right to buy, you could pick your council houses up for, if you'd lived in them for a long time. Oh, this is the green. This is the green, right, okay. So yeah, you could, um, I'm actually walking in the middle of the bloody road, you know, I didn't realise, I thought this was a path and then this guy's just come round driving on it, but I'm sure it's a path. So yeah, this is the green. Let's see what this has to say over here. So I was right, wasn't I? Let's have a look. Certain hill, the green. One, but that's why, that's what it's called. The green. There's a street sign. 
Right, so I think the aim of the game now is to get the car. Let's go for a drive around the other side of the estate and uh, see what we can see, see if we can see anything interesting. I can't get over how quiet it is. I haven't seen many people dressed <laughs> around these shops today. We've got a lovely street here. Um, I was just driving down and uh, I wanted to show you this site. So this is the site of what used to be Maple Mill. Uh, we'll go and have a look at the rubble in a minute, see if we can see anything interesting. Um, but I wanted to show you this this wall. Uh, you're probably thinking, why are you showing us a wall? You know, like, it's a bit strange. But first of all, it's one of the old walls. It would have been built when they built the mill. And it's got some really old features on it, which I think are really interesting. Um, it's also got all of this graffiti on it. See, that one says 38 miles RPM, something like miles per hour. Um, and then I think this one says waste or waste, don't know. Uh, and then you've got CRM, but I think this is relative to the work. And then you've got this here. I wonder if this opens. Oh, it doesn't open. Um, to be fair, it's probably a good job it don't bleed and open. There's all disgusting things inside it. Could be rats in there or anything. That would be a good idea, would it? Let's have a look. Community gardens are down there, so we'll have a look at that in a minute. But the old maple mill, all these old bricks. Look at them. All these old bricks just thrown. Big old pieces of, oh sorry, too high up. Big old pieces of stone just been thrown and then up here you've got the biggest mound you've got the biggest mound you've got more bricks <clears throat> down here all of these bricks I'm trying to see if there's any names on them you know you get names written on bricks don't you um, I tell you what look, while we're here look at that bloody sky everybody how nice is that? It's absolutely beautiful. I got to hold them this morning. A friend of mine said to me this morning, uh, look at this old stone. wonder where that was. It's a fair big stone, that. Yeah, so he said to me this morning, I said, I'm going to come to hold them. I said, do you think I should put a summer dress? Uh, should, should, I don't think I'll put a summer dress on. He went, or I said, I'll put one on. Anyway, he told me that it was going to be blistering out anywhere off human before. Because <laughs> he remember it was an old dog. Um, it was absolutely freezing, but it's just all of a sudden gone really warm. Right, let's have a look at this pile of debris. Walls. More, s more bricks. Oh, look at the size of that one there. Can you see that? Can you see that there? I don't know if that's metal. I think that's actually metal going into the stone. I think that must be part of the foundations then. Not the foundations, you know, the structure. Maple Mill, I'll have put some information in about Maple Mill. I'll be honest, some, some mills I can tell you loads of stuff straight away off top of my bombs, but not for Maple. So, um, and I was on my live last night and I was talking about my accent and I don't know if you've picked up on it, everyone, but it's becoming a bit more Yorkshire as the days go on. Um, now, when I'm with my family, it's not so bad. You know, ask friends or talking to my mates on the phone from Oldham. But it is changing. That number six there has got an absolutely beautiful door knocker. It's a woman's head. It's absolutely stunning. Um, oh, look at that butterfly. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've got a bit of a problem because um, my accent's going. <laughs> but it's going to happen, isn't it? You know, if you if you're living in Yorkshire, and especially if you're living in Bloody Barnes because their accent's really strong. 
Um, so, it's what it is. Anyway, I'm going to jump into the car and we're going to get over to somewhere else. Don't know Interesting yet, thing about, Bill, we're going to go going on to Fitton Hill Road now. Interesting thing about um, Belgrave Mill is it's mills, it's loads, it's massive. Um, there's all of this here that we're going down the side of and also down here. I think mostly now these are just retail units, offices. But at one time this would have been one of the cotton mills that people used to trudge to every single day. I think we should get out and have a look. So let's have a look at Belgrave Mills. Let's start by looking here. And then we're going to go and look at that fire, fire escape over there because I think it's really nice. So here, we've still got the, uh, if I tilt the camera up just so you can see it, we've still got the crane that they would have used to load. And you've got the old doors, look at them. All the way down. And uh, there's all sorts of work going on on the building. But I wanted to show you this fire escape because these fellas are going to think I'm an absolute nutter. Um, but I don't care. I wanted to show you this fire escape because I think it's actually quite beautiful and the detail on it is stunning. So we'll have a look at the rails and we'll have a look at, look at underneath. To see underneath the treads. You've got a beautiful pattern that repeats all the way up. That man's staring at me as if to say, what the hell <laughs> are you doing? I don't even know if this is safe. I'm not going to attempt to walk up it anyway, but um, 